Okay, next experiment. So this is the effect of light intensity on gas exchange by a leaf, okay? And so the idea for this is that you have four test tubes. Um, I'm just gonna draw one for now and then I'll pause the video and draw the others, okay? And three of the test tubes are going to have a leaf in them, uh, preferably the same size as the other leaves, okay? Um, and in the bottom, they're going to have hydrogen carbonate indicator. This is one of the key tools that you use. Uh, one of the uh, a very common a commonly asked about um, material or chemical that we talk about because it's a color exchange. All right. And so it's hydrogen carbonate indicator in the bottom. So the idea is that you have four and they're all sealed here. Okay. Well, I use the blue. It works better. It shows up a little better. Okay. So this is airtight. So there's no air getting in or out. Okay. Then you have your leaf and then you have your hydrogen carbonate indicator. Make sure the leaf isn't down in the hydrogen carbonate indicator. All right. Um, so I'm going to draw my other test tubes. All right, so there are my other test tubes. Three of them have leaves in them and the fourth one doesn't have anything. It's still, they're all sealed, okay? Uh, so this one here is acting as a control because it has no leaf in it. So there's obviously going to be no gas exchange. So this is your control tube. Okay, and then the idea is that you take each of these three tubes with a leaf. And uh, so for example, the first one you would leave in the light Okay. Uh, the second one you would wrap in tin foil or put it in the dark. Okay, so that there's no light getting to it. And then the third one you would wrap in perhaps some gauze. And the idea is that the gauze allows some light through, but not very much. So um, you have three different light intensities here. Okay, uh, and then you leave it for 24 hours. Okay, and then you come back and you look at the hydrogen carbonate indicator. Okay, so you come back after a few hours, 12, 24, whatever. Um, and these are the colors that you should see. Um, my awesome drawings may not be very clear, so I will uh, highlight the color that they're supposed to be. So this is purple, okay? The one in the dark light is gonna be purple. The one in the dark is going to be yellow. And the control and the one with the gauze, if you've done it right, um, should be either red or uh, orange, which is the original color of the hydrogen carbonate indicator. Okay, and so the idea is that at normal CO2 levels, okay, when we're talking about this indicator, as in the air that you normally breathe every day, the normal CO2, it will be orange or red. Okay, at high CO2 levels, so for example, if you were to take some hydrogen carbonate indicator and breathe into it for a while, the CO2 from your lungs would go in and makes it yellow. And at low CO2, it usually becomes kind of a red purple, okay? So those are the colors that you end up with and that tells you how much carbon dioxide is actually present in the tube. And then what that tells you is what the gas exchange is, 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 is happening, okay? How much gas exchange is happening. So in the light, okay, there's a lot of light around. And so this plant, so all leaves all the time are doing respiration. Okay, and so um, this, and if there's light around, then they will also be doing photosynthesis. So the idea is that with this one, it's in the light, all right? So this one is doing a lot more photosynthesis than it is respiration. And so you don't, ha you have low CO2, right? Because the idea is that there is more uh, photosynthesis happening than there is respiration. The high CO2, which is the one in the dark, is yellow because this leaf has been able to respire, but it hasn't been able to do any photosynthesis and respiration produces CO2, right? The control tube, nothing has happened, so you should see no color change. Uh, the one with gauze has, so you have some light, right? So it's not totally yellow, so there is some photosynthesis going on, but um, it's not, it's, it's also not able to do tons of it because the light isn't very bright. So the idea with the gauze here, with the normal CO2, let me see if I can draw an arrow down here if you can see this, All right? This one, the idea is that the rate of respiration is equal to the rate of photosynthesis. All right, because the idea is that as the uh, leaf is 
producing oxygen from photosynthesis, it's then using that amount of oxygen, sorry, uh, for, for respiration. That's not what I want to say. I'm talking about carbon dioxide. So the idea is that the carbon dioxide that is being produced from respiration is then being used immediately for photosynthesis. So overall, there is no net change in the amount of carbon dioxide in this tube because the photosynthesis rate, the photosynthesis is happening at the same rate as the respiration. Okay.